What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Crystal Palace FIFA 16 career mode. We're approaching deadline day so should see a few players leave the club. Hopefully another one or two come in. I don't want to do too much business but improvement is clearly needed after last episode's poor performance. We drew against QPR and we lost to Newcastle so we're going to need to crack on this time round if we are going to beat Manchester United to the title. And as you can see our next game is actually a top of the table clash. We travelled to Old Trafford so it's going to be a tough one. So Newcastle have made a transfer bid for Maro and Fellaini for £6 million. Now, I'm going to negotiate that. I want eight. I'll take eight. I'll be happy with that. Now, as you guys will be well aware, Igalo hasn't really performed since joining us. So I've put together a short list of four strikers that I think could potentially come in without us having to pay a lot of money and do a better job than Igalo. So they are Gabby Agbon Lahore, um, Enna Valencia from West Ham, who's obviously banging goals in, in real life at the moment, Jordan Ayew from Villa, and Shane Long from Southampton. Now, these are not signings for the long term. These are just to come in and immediately be more effective than what Igalo has been so far. OK, so let's jump into the office. You can see Gabio Bonnahor. They want three mil. Hopefully, we can just do Igalo in a straight swap. That is the plan. Um, where is he? Where is he? Right down on that list. I don't really want to be paying out any funds. So we'll send that bid to Villa. Um, they'll probably get another bid as well for Jordan AU, depending on the results of their inquiry. West Ham are not selling Enna Valencia, that's fine, we have to accept that. 14 for AU, not a chance. And 1.1 for Shane Long. Now that, to me, would be an awesome deal for us. If we could get Shane Long in a straight deal for Agarlo, happy days. And Newcastle not pursuing their interest in Fellaini after we, offered, no, after we negotiated with them. So fair enough, it looks like he'll probably be staying unless someone makes a bid in the last few hours of this transfer window. So they've rejected the offer for Gabi Agbon Lahore. They want us to pay one mil as well. I'm going to, just because of his pace, really. Southampton have rejected our offer for Shane Long because they're not interested in Igalo. Now, I am actually just going to offer them one mil straight because I still think he would grab goals for us. So both of those bids have been accepted. The uh, one million plus Igalo for Agbon Lahore Villa are happy with. Um, I think I'll go ahead with it. We'll, we'll keep it going for the time being. He's going to be nothing more of a rotation player, someone to chuck on from the bench when we need a goal. Same as Shane Long, probably, although I am quite a big fan of Shane Long, to be honest with you. We haven't got the remaining wage budget to offer him a deal, though, which is quite disappointing. I should probably ask for more funds, but I'm not going to. We'll just keep it going and uh, see what happens. So we've had an offer from Bolton for Felipe Santana. As you know, he desperately wants to leave the club, so I'm not going to stand in his way. And that will, of course, free up some wages for us as well. So Gabby Agbon Lahore has agreed to join the club, but I do want to hold off. I would rather have Shane Long, to be fair, unless because Shane Long is cash only. We could do both, I would say, but then we don't need two more strikers. We don't need any more strikers at all, but I'll still this Agbon Lahore deal and see what happens. OK, so Santana has gone. He's joined Bolton, which quite clearly good riddance, to be honest. Didn't play well when he did play and spent most of his time sat on the bench. We didn't pay a lot of money for him anyway. But now we can pay Shane Long what he wants on a two-year contract. Now, I'm going to do that and I will. Shane Long is definitely my preference over Gabby Agbon Lahore, to be fair. So Shane Long has agreed to join. So we're going to bring him in purely because I think he'll still bag a few goals for us. And I'm actually going to accept the Gabby Agbon Lahore bid as well because... If we reject it, we've still got Igalo sat in the squad rotting. I'd rather bring in another pair of fresh legs, to be honest. OK, so both of them have joined the club. You can see confirmation of it there. Two very pacey strikers. We've obviously got Niang, Vardy and Bonny as it is. So I might change the formation a bit to see if we can get them all on the pitch at once and hopefully be more of a goal threat because we have struggled recently. So last chance for any clubs to put any bids in. In the final hour, you can see we've got an email. See what this is all about. It's a transfer offer again for Fellaini at Southampton for five and a half. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. We can't negotiate it. Window's done. Okay, so here's the side that we're going to use to take on Man United at Old Trafford. I was going to gamble and chuck, you know, maybe change to a 4-3-3 or something to be more of a goal threat, but not in this fixture. I don't think it's one. It's so important. I can't really be gambling with the formation, but a couple of changes to the uh, usual. Coquelin is suspended, so Ramirez is going to play holding mid. Julian Brandt comes in in place of Balassi because Brandt is quite an exciting player, to be honest. He's got good footwork, and I think he'll be... Decent threat for us going forward in this game. Not that Balassi wouldn't be, but just literally to freshen it up a little bit. Bonnie starts up top. He needs to start scoring, man. OK, so here we go. Important time of the season, important game. If we lose this, even though there's quite a few games left, it is technically out of our hands and we would need other results to go our way. 
It's a positive start. Here's Brandt. Cuts inside his man. Can he get the shot away? He can. Victor Valdez saves it at his near post. And we get a corner. Great start. What can we do from this? I'm going to whip it to the edge of the box. Volimers. Oh, it's bouncing around in the area. Anyone get there? No. Free kick's been given. Tried to... Oh, my God. I don't even know what happened there. Victor Valdez having a nightmare so far with the footwork. Kabai's in a load of space on the edge of the box. We're going to whip it there. He's got time to tee himself up, which he has done. Good effort. Just over the bar. Really should be hitting the target from there, but decent techers. Schneidlin on the edge of the area. Cuts inside. Works it inside to Daly Blint. Good block from Bartra. Corner to Manu. Come on, Vidio. Run at Manu. You got the pace. Plays it inside. Here's Torre. Slips it through to Bonnie. Can he get it onto his right foot? He can. Finish that, lad. Oh, kind of just got knocked off balance by the pressure from the defender. We've got a corner, though. No messing around. Going to just whip this one in. It has been whipped in. It's headed out. It's come out only as far as Bellerin. Can he score a screamer? Ooh, not too bad. Not far away at all. Here goes Brandt with a chance to run. Who's that defender? He's quick. Damian. Brandt's knocked him off the ball again, though. Well, what can he do here? Can he cut back onto his right? He can. Oh, worst shot ever. Should have composed myself. Just tried to hit it early, but... Brant's away down the left again. Gets past his man. He's into the box. They can't tackle him. This time he does cut inside. Better finish. Yes, it is. How he squeezed it in there, I don't know. Valdez will be disappointed, but sheer power has taken the ball past the goalkeeper. And just before half-time, we've taken a one-goal lead. I knew Brant would be a threat today. Just so direct running at the defence. And he actually hits up with his left foot in off the post. To be fair, Valdez got little chance of saving that. His positioning was good, but it's just the sheer power that's put the ball in the back of the net. But 1-0. So the ball is fizzed back to Valdez again, who has an absolute nightmare first touch. You get the feeling one day we are going to capitalise on that. But there goes the half-time whistle. So far, so good. We've been much the better side going into the break with a one-goal lead. Just 45 minutes to see it out now. Bartra's done well and Bonnie's made a run. Can he get away from Small in this time? He can. He's got the strength. He's in here. He's got man in the middle. I don't think I'm going to need him. Bonnie. Oh, Luke Shaw with a great block. Valdez kind of claws it away. I just wanted to open that up and put it in the far corner, but decent defending in the end. Manchester United with some decent build-up play here. Got a chance. Martial. It's 1-1. Awful defending again. We're so shaky at the back, but they literally did just hit us on the counter. Nice one-touch passing move. Kept it on the floor. Real, real quick, sharp play. Scenes in the home end, but obviously disappointed. A win here would take us back to the top. Um, we've been by far the better team. I don't think Man United deserve to be level, but let's carry on playing as we are, and I hope we can go on to get the winning goal. But decent play here. Look, really quick, short passing. Really nice one-touch stuff, and a decent finish from Martial, to be fair. Quick throw is Bellerin. Worst first touch ever. Here's Brandt into the box. What can he do? Just stand one up, maybe. It's a decent cross. Kabai with the header. Bonnie's there. He reacts the fastest. Is he onside? He is. Flag stays down. We've got our lead back. Just over 20 minutes left. Real freak goal, to be honest. Just a case of Bonnie being in the right place at the right time, reacting the quickest. But still, he had, you know, it's a decent header to beat Victor Valdez. It was uh, Kabai, I think, that had the shot. Good play from Brandt on the left. Pulls it back. Kabai's header. Loops up off Chris Smalling and Bonnie just heads it into that far post. We are back in front and Bonnie has scored from open play. Actually going to make a change as we try and keep this lead. Kabai is not the strongest of midfielders. I'm going to bring Fellaini on just for a bit of strength and Mares as well in place of Vidio just for some freshness. Now we've got a chance to hit Manu on the counter-attack. Bellerin has got forward and he is quick. There's no one in the middle yet. People trying to get in there. Bonnie's right at the back. It's a decent cross. Fellaini's got there ahead of Bonnie. Straight at Valdez. Brandt, we've got men forward here. Here's Ramirez. He's got pace. Can he hold off the defence? He has done. Got to finish this. Ramirez. Oh, how about that for a finish? In off the underside of the crossbar. That is a beautiful goal. Really, really good individual stuff from Ramirez. Once he picked the ball up here, it seemed as though in the last game he'd lost a yard of pace, but... Certainly not showing it here in that finish, though. So Man United probably have one last chance now. Fellaini's defended that really well. And we've got another chance to break here. Good footwork from Mares and Torre. Bonnie's making a run down the channel. We're going to give it to him. 
Can he cut inside? He can. Yaya Torres made that run. Can he hold off the defender and score his first goal for Palace? Yes, he can, with the aid of a deflection. Unfortunate stuff from Herrera, who was defending quite well, to be honest. Wouldn't let Torre get inside. But Torres tried to hit it across goal. Herrera slid in, and the deflection has taken it past Valdez. And at Old Trafford, we lead 4-1, and we are heading back to the top of the table. OK, so now you can see we're taking on Watford, who have only won once. I've been laughing at them all season. I hope that's not going to jinx us and come back to haunt us. Here, but as you can see, we're changing the formation. We're going to go to a 4-3-3. Um, we've got a very strong midfield. Coquelin's back from his suspension. He's going to be in there with Ramirez and Torre, so very, very strong. Balassi's going to play wide left. I'm going to play Vardy down the right channel. And Shane Long is going to start as a centre-forward because Bonnie is knackered after the Old Trafford game. Grimaldo coming back in at left-back. And Joel Ward is coming in to give Bellerin a rest at right-back. And Dyer and Bartra at centre-halves. Let's go. OK, so we haven't actually played that well against Watford this year. We drew 2-2 in the corresponding fixture at Selhurst Park. And they knocked us out of the cup as well. So, a bit of a revenge mission on our hands today. OK, we've got the chance to attack early. It's Balassi down the left. He's got behind the defence. Can we get off to an absolute dream start? I'm going to go on my own because I've got no support. Balassi, just as Brandt did at Old Trafford, somehow squeezes the ball in at the near post. Dream start just four minutes into this game. Poor defending. They just couldn't catch him. I don't know what they were doing. They're playing a really, really high line. And we've got loads of pace. So if they do that, there's definitely goals in this game for us today. But a great finish. 1-0 Palace. Chance for us to come forward again. We could be in here. Shane Long, on his debut, makes it 2-0 after just eight minutes. And we're defending like this. You can see why they've only won one game this season. Superb debut already from Shane Long. He just made the run between the two defenders. And uh, Yaya Toure played a perfectly weighted pass for him to run onto first time. Takes it on his left foot away from the defender and smashes it into the bottom corner. 2-0. Now we are playing some superb football. Balassi again down the left. Can he beat his man? Beautiful bit of skill. Yes, he can. They can't touch him now. He's into the area. Pulls it back. Shane Long's there again. And it's 3-0 after just 18 minutes. Two goals for Shane Long. I don't know if it's because... The formation's working, or whether because we're playing a really, really poor side. But they are all over the show, Watford. Every time we come forward, it looks as though we're going to score. Slightly fortunate there, Long, with the deflection off the defender taking the ball in. But it was going in anyway. Palace 3, Watford nil, and we haven't played 20 minutes yet. Shane Long's done well to win the ball back. Picks out Balassi, who's going to smash one from distance. Looks as though for a minute it might dip into that far corner, but just curling away from goal in the end. So we've got a corner here. I'm just going to whip this one straight into the area. No messing around. Corner comes in. Headed down. Falls to Jamie Vardy. Shot is blocked. Still got possession. Balassi from a tight angle. <laughs> How has that gone in? Every time we shoot, it goes in today. I don't know what's happened there. Keepers palmed it into the near post. But I thought he was offside, to be fair. But I think they had a man on the line still. Yeah, they did when Vardy shot. He was still way behind the play. And... <laughs> Question marks over the keeper there. It's a good hit from Balassi. Don't take anything away, but he's kind of punched it onto the post. He's hit his hands again and gone in. Brilliant. 4 0. Balassi's through down the left again. He's on a hat trick. Can he get it? He's on his weaker left foot. I'm going to hit it anyway. Oh, it's gone over. So Watford coming forward. Chance for them to grab a goal at least before half time. Good turn from Lewis. Puts the ball in. Butland with the punch. Torre with the header and we're going to go away with it here. Half-time whistle's gone as well. We look like absolute world beaters today. 4-0 up, away from home. Absolute scenes in the away end again. Really good stuff. So early in the second half, Jamie Vardy with an interception. He's into the box, could have gone down. Going to drive it across goal. Oh, it's come out to Yaya Torre though. Deflected and over the bar. Could be a chance for Watford here. Some decent build-up play. Jonathan Williams gives it back to us as if he's still playing for us, though. And we've got a chance to break again. Here's Shane Long. Finds Jamie Vardy. Can he beat his man? He's having his shirt pulled, but he's still going to beat him. Long has made a good run. There's a man coming in on the edge of the box. It's Coquelin. Can it be five? What a block. What a block. Here is Shane Long. Can he beat his man? He can. Chance for the hat-trick. Shane Long on his debut. Good hit. Good save. Ramirez jumped 20 minutes too early. But we've got a corner. Jamie Vardy's got some space down the right here. What can he do with it? I'm going to try and cut back inside, to be fair, because there's no one in the box. Let's make some changes. Shane Long's knackered. I'm going to bring him off. He's not going to get that hat-trick on his debut. Mares can come on as well for Balassi. And I'm going to take Yaya Torre off before he gets injured and give Sinkraven a run out, who was superb at the back end of last season. 
Oh, chance for Watford. They get forward behind the defence. Rare occasion here. Decent turn, actually. Got a chance to go for goal. And they've scored. Don't know what I was doing. I just kind of run back on the goal line, trying to get the ball away. They're celebrating like crazy as if they're back into the game. So nothing more than a consolation. Nothing to worry about. Just annoying. One that we've conceded. And two that Watford have had their first attack and they've scored from it. Chip the ball over the top here. This touch completely done me. I was expecting him to go down the channel, but... Cut inside, should have brought Brutland out. He stayed on his line, they've smashed it tops. 4 1. What can you do? Still got it. Ramirez touches it on, touched on once more. Cut back. Ramirez. Oh, what a block. You do get the feeling, though, when we can, we can just click our fingers and turn it on and score whenever we like today. It's been that kind of game. That really should have ended up in the back of the net. If this was 0 0 and they were chucking bodies in front of the uh, shots like that, I would be fuming. I'm going to try and score a spectacular here with Ramirez. Bang! That's uh, probably just gone past my window, actually. So the full-time whistle's gone. We've won 4-1 away at Watford. Look at the stats. They bossed possession, and they were playing it around at the back, even when they were 4-0 down. But we've had 15 shots. They had one, and they scored from it, which is annoying. But 4-1 win away from home. Can't argue with that. So let's have a look and see what those two 4-1 wins have done to the Premier League table. We've opened up a five-point lead at the top now. Man United actually lost to Swansea, who are not having the best of seasons. They're kind of mid-table, so better than they're doing in real life at the minute. But yeah, they lost 1-0 away at Swansea, which has given us a five-point cushion. Now, I don't want to get complacent. We've got to keep performing as if we're neck and neck with Man United. Hopefully, we can run away with it and get this title wrapped up. We haven't got to play them anymore, so they can't get one over of us by, uh, by beating us. And closing that gap. But Spurs are in third. They're now just a point behind Man United who are second. At Everton in fourth. Just two points behind. So it's getting quite tight at the top. In terms of the top four. Norwich are having a blinding season. They're up there in fifth. Chelsea, Arsenal and City will be disappointed in sixth, seventh and eighth. But Watford still just the one win. They've conceded 50 goals in 26 games. Um, goal difference of minus 28. They've only got 10 points. They're as good as down. Leicester are down there as well. And QPR. But... Great stuff this episode, much improved. Imagine if we didn't drop those points in the last you know, the last couple of games, we'd have been well clear of Man United. But next up we face Bayer Leverkusen, who we've drawn in the knockout stage of the Europa League. So looking forward to getting back into some European action. But that will bring this one for a close, guys. Make sure you drop a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Follow me on social media. All the links are down below. And we will see you next time.